What's up everybody and welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel. In this video, I am addressing a problem on the internet that has gone completely viral and it asks where does this extra dollar come from when you look at a chart where you're monitoring how much you spend versus how much you have left. So we're gonna run through the scenario first. I'm gonna give you a moment to think about it and then I'm gonna explain the entire situation. First, we're gonna start with the premise that we have $50. Then you're gonna spend 20 bucks. So of course, if you spend 20 out of that 50, you're gonna have $30 left. Next, we're gonna spend an additional $15. Now, of course, if you have 30 bucks left, you spend 15, you're only gonna have $15 left. Okay, after that, you're gonna spend $9. When you spend $9, of course, you take nine away from 15, and that is six. Now you have $6 left. Finally, you're gonna spend that remaining six bucks, and that means you have $0 left. Okay, so now if I take everything in the left-hand column, everything I spent, it should add up, of course, to $50, because how can you spend more money than you have? So 20 plus 15 is 35 plus nine is of course 44 and plus six is 50. Now we're gonna add up the right hand side. Now theoretically you might assume that hey we're doing a consistent monitoring of spending and what you have left and so what you have left let's add that up and see what it is. You get 30 plus 15 is 45 plus six is 51. So that's quite strange right because how can there be a difference in these two values it doesn't make sense. So the question is where did the extra $1 come from? So go ahead, hit that pause button and see if you can figure out the answer to this quandary. Okay, hopefully you've given it some thought. Maybe you're stumped, maybe you figured it out. But here is the answer. The answer is the two values have nothing to do with each other. So this whole thing is just a fabrication really. And what they've done is they've carefully chosen values to make you think that the two values at the end, the two totals should be equal, but they have nothing to do with each other. And I'm gonna show you why with a new example. So again, we're starting off with $50, so that's the same. And now we're only gonna spend $1 at first. Now we spend $1, how much do you have left? You have $49 left, okay? Now I'm gonna spend another dollar and you'll see we have $48 left. I'm gonna spend again just a dollar and we have $47 left. And then last, I'm gonna spend the entire remaining $47 and now we have zero left. Once again on the left, it has to be $50 because how can you spend more money than what you started with? So if you add those up, it of course equals 50. But now if we add up the right hand values, we get $144. That's a really big value. That's way bigger than 50 bucks. But now you can see that obviously there's no reason why the right hand column should add up to 50. When we spend these lower dollar values, of course the right hand total is gonna be way bigger than 50 bucks. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more videos from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.